Hello and welcome back to a, another popcorn chat and another weekly vlog. Here we are on week three of March. So I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what I've been up to this week. So on Monday, not much happened either at work or in the evening, just sort of very busy in terms of workload. And then I don't think I did too much on the evening. So then we have Tuesday. Now this is a day that I was excited for because I had half a day at work, going to work in the morning. And then in the afternoon, my cousin Megan, who was coming all the way from Essex, came over. So the reason she was coming down was the fact that we were going to a gig together that evening. I bought tickets to see Don Broco and she said she would happily take the second ticket. So she came over, gave a little bit of a tour of Cardiff, very much a whistle stop tour of the city centre. And then we decided to queue for some merch uh, in the local bar. We ended up queuing in the wrong queue because there was one for the bar and there was one for the tour merch. So as we were queuing for merch, it was separate on the stage. And on the side, there was like a bar, which obviously people were queuing in because they put something out saying that they were going to come into the bar around that time. And it was like half an hour later, but they did show up as we were about to queue uh, and potentially buy, but obviously we didn't. Uh, and in walks Rob Damiani, Side Laney, and I think Tom was there, but Matt wasn't there. Um, th but they were all there, and I saw some pictures after, and they were pulling pints for people, and I was like, that sounds pretty great. But the way with our timings, it didn't really work out, because we had to go back and drop stuff off. Megan had to refresh as well. So it's all hindsight, you know, we could have done things the way around, but hey-ho. We were both really excited to catch Papa Roach, like we've never seen them live. I only really listened to them properly because of this gig. I actually really liked their music, and... Pretty much their whole, you know, warm-up set was everything I'd listened to, I think, bar one song. But they were great, so I'll make sure to put in some footage here for you guys to have a look at. I've been to many gigs and I have to say the warm-up act can be sort of just the time that people maybe chat or go to the bar or just delay getting there. But this has to be one of the best warm-up acts that I've ever seen. They put on a full show. I don't even want to call it a warm-up act. They were so good and just really sort of commanded the crowd. And I was really surprised that I would definitely go and see their gig. Again, just them. Like, I absolutely loved it. And it was such a great, like, hype and setup for Don Broker to come out for their first arena tour here in the UK. So a little bit about my relationship with Don Broco. I followed them for about 10 years now. I was aware of them since their first album. The second album was probably my favourite as a whole. So I was really excited to finally see them live because I'd never seen them live over these 10 years. I know they do a lot of festivals and stuff, but they've just not been there when I've been there at a few gigs. Um, so it was great to see them, obviously on a massive scale. Hindsight, I wish I went and saw them when they were much smaller and an O2 arena size or a festival would have been great but um i'm so happy they got to do an arena finally 10 years later after being within the music industry and again i'll pop in some footage just so you guys can see <laughs> The day after I had a day off work and I decided that me and Megan should go to Barry Island because I've been in Cardiff now for a few months and I've not been and she's a massive Gavin and Stacey fan so we had to go and see it and luckily the weather turned out really nice it was really sort of sunny really dry in the morning so we got loads of sort of tourist pictures and videos which I'll input so you guys can see um, but we just enjoyed um, walking down the beach and the sort of promenade 
We even had a stop in Marco's, which is the cafe that's featured in Gavin and Stacey, if you've seen it. And it was that warm, we were able to sit out and we would just watch people walk along the promenade. We even had an ice cream. I'd say, do you serve an ice cream at half ten? They're like, yep, yeah, that's fine. So uh, me and Megan had uh, coffee and ice cream. So it was a great morning. Uh, and then we just sort of walked around, went around some of the arcades, because I feel like that's something you have to do whenever you go to a seaside town here in the UK. I'm not sure how many of you guys have been to the UK seaside, but uh, yeah, we went on some slot machines, just like two peas, ten peas. Did we win anything? Got a couple of tickets. Not much else. So then we went to go and see the film locations of the houses for uh, Stacey's mum's house and obviously Uncle Bryn's across the road. And then we also went to the shipman's house and got to see where that was. And I was really surprised. Like there was a lot of sort of pictures and sort of memorabilia in the windows of Stacey and her mum's house. And then there wasn't really much at the shipman's house because it was just clearly these are houses that are both occupied by people, you know, it's their house. Um, but there wasn't really much memorabilia and it was a bit more like off the beaten track. Like you had to go down a cul-de-sac and it wasn't really in Barry. So yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more of these videos, like I'm potentially going to be doing a location based video, especially around the Cardiff area of like film sites, TV sites. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. I'm thinking of possibly doing it when it gets a little bit warmer and a bit sunnier. Um, but yeah, there's a little teaser for you for something coming up on the channel very soon. So then Megan went off on the train home back to Essex and I decided to watch film and also do a review. I think I even got it out the same day. So I decided to watch one of these days, which I got as a screener and that video is now up live, which I'll link to above. So if you want to check that out and you haven't already, the link is there. Then I was back to work on Thursday, again, working quite intensely in the day. And then in the evening, one of my colleagues asked me to go along to this golf place that was open up on the Friday after, um, and it was really, really cool. It was right by our work, really convenient. But it's like one of these places, I'm not sure we've been before, like Ghetto Golf or lots of cities do these sort of wacky golf courses, like mini golf courses. And this was great. We got to go in there whilst, you know, everyone was in there taking sort of um, influencer pictures and stuff. So I was like, oh, what's going on? So it was definitely nice to sort of be asked along and sort of get a little insight into that world. But this place was awesome. I'm, and I'm not just saying that, like it was so cool. I've been to loads of these mini golf places and this was really cool. I loved the design of each hole. Each hole was different. Each floors had different aesthetics. So I really liked it. Friday, again, not too much, just working in the office, lots of deadlines to meet on that day and then got home later, uh, had a pizza and I decided to watch uh, Willy's Wonderland, which I just put on randomly because I think I saved it on my prime watch list and it was pretty bonkers and pretty poor to be honest um yeah it wasn't my favorite <laughs> and then yesterday um on saturday i went to the gym in the morning i thought i'd get up and get going uh, i still felt pretty crap i had a bit of a headache just i'm not sure why i had a headache but i was like no i'll go outside i'll drink water and whatever but i still felt pretty shit so i did like a 45 minute workout and i was like i walked there walked back so that was like kind of me getting out for the day and then i decided to start succession as i know season four is starting monday I think it's Monday, so trying to get ahead of the curve a little bit, but I obviously will not catch up in that time. But as of now, I think I've watched seven episodes of season one, so I can definitely do season one this weekend. Um, so I've been enjoying it so far, very dramatic, very intense. You can't binge too many episodes because of the subject matter and the drama, I think. Um, but I like it, it's really funny. And at the moment, I'm really enjoying Matthew McFadden. Like, I think he's doing a character that I've not really seen from him before. Um, but it's quite funny, but it's also so manipulative. They're all really manipulative. I think there's like some dark humour in it. I think it's quite fun, but it's also so like dark and so interesting in terms of how business people, even nowadays, manipulate those below them and power and greed. It's, yeah, it's interesting so far. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. And then last night I just sort of chilled. I watched a film, I caught up on Taskmaster. Um, and yeah, and then today's Sunday, so I've not done too much. I've just been watching Succession, season one again. And um, this afternoon, I'm going to go see Pearl at the cinema. And I was decided to watch X this week. I think because I'd seen Pearl was out at the cinema, I was like, I should probably give X a go. And I was really surprised. I actually really liked it. Um, really great sort of horror elements. I like the 70s aesthetic and that sort of era of, you know, Texas Chainsaw. It gave very much that vibe, which I love. 
Um, and I think, yeah, I was really, really surprised. I know it divided a lot of people when it came out initially. So I decided to book a ticket for Pearl today. So I'm sure there may be a review come up on here on the channel, or if not, I'll probably do one over on TikTok. So that's my week, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. We've only got one more left. Um, there's a few things happening next week. Um, get a tattoo, uh, work's busy and it's my friend's birthday drinks thing in the day so again should be an entertaining last sort of week of these march vlogs i hope you guys have enjoyed them let me know your thoughts down below what's been your favorite part that you've seen of my sort of day to day um and if you would want me to see me do this more in the future uh, i don't think i could do four weeks in a row but um it's nice to capture little clips because everyone just thinks to get pictures so this has been a good sort of eye-opening situation of getting video clips that you know i can reflect upon later Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon for another Popcorn Chat.